that leads us to our next issue coming up next year on Ghana tonight. Here on your election command center, the Electoral Commission of Ghana finally publishes summaries of certified voters register. What's in there for you? We'll tell you exactly what the Electoral Commission said earlier today and matters arising. And we remain your election command center right here. And with this, the one that we've been focusing on quite closely and that demand that was made by the NDC as well, uh, the Electoral Commission gives some detail. But this is your election command center. The, the commission has released the final certified voter register ahead of the 2024 elections on December 7. According to the commission, a total of over 18.7 million voters have been confirmed as eligible to participate. But before we, we get into that, this is Jane Mensah, the chair of the Electoral Commission, talking about the Ghana Freedom Party and the disqualification of their candidate, hopefully, who was ho trying to replace the late Ikea Donko. It did not happen because they found irregularities and some mistakes in his forms. Take a look. We detected a number of errors and some illegalities with the form. The candidate's attention was drawn to these errors and the party was provided an opportunity to correct them. They did that. It was not in our bosom to provide the political party the opportunity to correct some of the illegalities that we found on the form. The commission wrote to the party and to the candidate disqualifying him from contesting the 2024 presidential election. of errors and some illegalities with the form. The candidate's attention was drawn to these errors and the party was provided an opportunity to correct them. They well, that's the Electoral Commission on the Ghana Freedom Party. But then again, we're going to be joined shortly by Dr. Rashid Tanko, who is the Deputy Director of ITN Elections for the NDC on the matter of this information that they asked for. The Electoral Commission has given a summary of the voters register. You recall that sometime last week there was a demand of the NDC. This is it. This is what we do know so far, as put out by the Electoral Commission in a statement earlier today. Total number of voters on the biometric register, 18,640,811. Total number of special voters, 131,478. That's a special voters consisting of we journalists, you know, personnel of the various security agencies, electoral commission staff who are going to perform one function or the other on election day, we are going to vote on December 1, okay? Uh, voters without bi biometric data, that's 1,870, and then also total number of valid voters. And, and we'll tell you that shortly, why there is a total number of voters on the biometric register and the total number of valid voters. That's 18,000, that's 18,774,159. The reason is that even though the total number of voters on the biometric register is 18.6 million thereabouts, you have votes who are coming in also now as special voters. So you add that and then you get the total number of valid voters. Total number of voters on exception list 33,352. Total number of voters on multiple list 26,569. Total number of voters on proxy list 2,141. And the total number of transferred voters you see there as well. The full complement of it is on 3news.com. Dr. C. Tanku Computer is Deputy Director of ITN Elections for the NDC. Appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. According to the Electoral Commission, Dr. C. Tanko, they're going to go ahead to use the presidential ballot paper as it is with Ekwadonkos, the late Ekwadonkos picture still on it, correct? Uh, well, Alfred, let me say good evening to your cherished viewers. Uh, certainly, that was a decision taken at uh, today's IPAC meeting uh, when the, uh, Madam Jean Mensa read uh, their decision to us. And then uh, clearly, yes. Right. So then the, that what was a question asked about what happens to those who vote for uh, the deceased Ekia Donko? What happens to their votes on, on, on the well, election day? After it will be counted as a rejected ballot. I mean, it will be counted as rejected. If you don't print on a uh, that one will be de described as a rejected ballot. 
because as it is now, she's she's not a a contestant on this thing. She's deceased, and then uh, uh, because of her uh, convenience, they are allowing that to be to be on it. You know, that's why she said uh, just to save cost, and then uh, 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 because of the cost. I mean, that's what they are looking at, and then so therefore they will, they will maintain it. But when you cast your ballot on it, uh, it, be, it will be described as a rejected ballot. I see. That also raises further questions, but I want to leave here. So that, what that means is that the, the positions will remain the same. NDC will be number eight, NPP will be number one, and then you will have the others as well following uh, Nana Bediako, 12, all of that will be there. Same. Yes, that's okay. it. That is it. I mean, everybody position maintained. The statute will maintain. I mean, all the ballot papers, uh, they are printed since the beginning of the print of ballot papers, will still maintain. Uh, uh, nothing changes. I mean, uh, it means any time soon we will be ending the printing of the ballot papers. So everything maintains. I mean, everybody maintains its position. I, I see. But today we got to know that the Electoral Commission had decided to close some polling agent, uh, polling stations, a big part the polling stations that it had earlier announced that it was opening, over 40,000. Now, did you know about this decision to close these polling stations before today? Alfred, uh, uh, let me take this opportunity uh, to call on Ghanaians to appreciate the effort of the NDC. I mean, with that NDC, a lot of things were going under the carpet without Ghanaians knowing. I mean, you, 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 I'm, I'm happy you are going through the figures. And this is the product of the NDC. Because we, we, we requested for the figures. We requested, requested for the summaries. Now all media houses are running the summaries. Meanwhile, everybody was quiet about it until the NDC raised issues on it. Now, when they came out with the summaries, something startling came out. I mean, startling revelation about right. uh, polling stations being, 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 being collapsed without our knowledge. So today, when they finish, we raise issues again about it. Right. Because we've been working with the Electoral Commission all along. They've never mentioned about uh, 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 the, the collapse of such polling stations. Nobody has ever mentioned such a thing to us. And so it means if we hadn't read this, we wouldn't have known that they have... They have cancelled certain polling stations with our knowledge. And this is serious. I mean, you can't just get up and, and start right. collapsing uh, right. polling stations without the knowledge of major stakeholders like the NDC. In fact, okay. and I, I was speaking on behalf of all the parties because all of them, right. they, it took them by surprise. So we demanded that we, they, they, should, they should come clean with those polling stations. We want to know which polling what? station they have collapsed and where they have sent the voters to. I see. And this is one that we'll, we'll be also be keeping an eye on and, and whether you get answers to that as well. But I do appreciate you connecting with us here, Dr. Asita, Computer is Deputy Director of IT and Elections for the NDC. We're back after this quick break.